Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. I'm back here at Tampa Honda, of course, in Tampa, Florida. And we have it here first on Rady's Rise. This is the refreshed for 2020. This is a 2020 Honda Civic Sport hatchback. Let's talk a little bit about Honda. Honda's been around for so many years, 1930s, really has created such a, a car culture within itself with the Honda Civic, of course, the Honda Accord. You know, there's been great models uh, that come from Acura, which is technically Honda, the NSX, the Honda S2000, Type R. This car, the hatchback, first came out in 2017, this design, that 10th generation of the Honda Civic. There's been some really good parts about it, but one thing that some people couldn't get past was the look. Well, with this refresh, Honda has added a few extra touches, but has also tried to take care of that thing that was bothering people look-wise. Civic really came around in the 1970s and has grown it to its own with sedan, hatchback, coupe, SI, Type R, really wonderful assortment to fit everybody's needs, budget-wise, enthusiast-wise, and all that. But with this Rally Red, this is the 2020. Let's go ahead and dive in. So what you'll notice for 2020, all new blacked out housing with the headlights. Really love the way it adds an extra sportiness to it and really allows it to blend in with the rest of the black on the front of the car. Here's probably the major change. Up front, no longer are those huge fake grill areas. You have where they put a little bit of the Rally Red into that opening you have your fog lamp down here and i like the way it's just smooth smooth you have an open area in here for air to go in very nice touch i also like on the hatchback how with the sport it has the little sill extension on each corner just gives it a little bit more of a aggressive look to it coming across the front end full gloss black really works well with the gloss black around the fog lamps and like I pointed out, the new change inside the headlight housings. Little bit of gloss black on the lower lip spoiler. I would like to see this come a little bit further out, but you know what? It does fit very nicely from one side to the other. But really, I think that they hit the nail on the head with getting rid of all that fake grill area. There was really no need for it. And I think it was just causing too much debate and just taking people's attention away from the rest of the car. Same great styling on the hood. I really like the body lines that they do on the Civic hatchback hood here as it comes up and kind of curves towards the windshield. Very nice touch. Now, as we come around, we're gonna see some more changes. Here's another change. This is an updated wheel, totally different style. I love what's going on with the gloss black, a little bit of nice gray, almost like a brush gray color, and that Honda badging in the center there. Very nice setup. It's an 18 inch wheel, so I think that's a perfect size. Not too big, not too small. You got plenty of sidewall there to where you could drive down the road and if you hit a pothole, you're, you're not gonna necessarily bend the wheel right away. But that is 235 on the width and it's a 40 series on the sidewall. Now, as we continue down the side, they kept it flat black, no built-in turn signal or anything like that. You have that beautiful rally red, just poured everywhere. I like the gloss black. The way it goes just across the top of the window area and you have that gloss black sill extension. What's really nice is, is I think it was great the way they give it a nice kick up look to it. And it really does mimic the Type R. The Type R is a little bit more aggressive where it comes out a little further, but I think just very clean lines. Another thing you're gonna notice on the Sport is that keyless entry, which is really nice to have to where you don't have to dig for the key fob. Now, as you work your way back on the hatchback Sport, this is that uh, hatch spoiler. I think it's great. I think that it's nice that they put something here, really help give it some extra style, but also it's a functional piece as well. And as we come out back, here's some more update. See what they did here? This used to be all just fake grill. They took some of the body work and they brought it into that area. I wish they would have just kept this smooth. It's still fake and it does draw your attention to it, but. This piece right here is really helping out and that's all new for 2020. Love the uh, lower rear diffuser area. This is new for 2020. And there, of course, on the Sport, you get the center exhaust, the dual outlet. Really nice, clean setup on the back. Everything else is gonna be Honda Civic hatchback. Remember, you got your dual spoilers. You have your spoiler on the lower part of the hatch because there's actual 
air that could pass underneath here and above, and of course on the top portion. But why don't we go ahead, pop the hood, and see what we're working with power-wise. All right, guys, hood is popped. Underneath the hood, there are no changes for 2020. So what you're looking at is that same 1.5 liter turbocharged engine. What's nice is, is the turbo is located right up front. You could clearly see it. And I know as a car enthusiast like many of you, you like to see the inner working bits. And that's what I like about the engine. It's not a bunch of covers, but you're basically looking at 180 horsepower, 177 pound-feet of torque. You could get this in a CVT or a manual transmission, six-speed manual transmission. The car weighs about 3,000 pounds, zero to 60 in about 6.2 seconds, quarter mile in 14.6, and a top speed of 125 miles an hour. I know a lot of times when it comes to a Civic, that's gonna be your daily driver. You're gonna really wanna know about MPGs, great MPGs. 29 in the city, 35 on the highway. I just really like how when you open up the hood on one of these, you could clearly see the engine. You see the ignition coils up top. This is an inline four. As a kid, this is what helped me learn about engines is being able to see them. And I feel like on so many different other brands, they just cover everything up, you can't see anything. But let's go ahead, fire up this inline four turbocharged engine and see what it sounds like. All right, guys, we're inside the 2020 Honda Civic hatchback. I know you're probably saying, well, Joe, I'm liking these changes, especially in that rally red really pops. What's the price? You're looking at $24,480. Let's see what you get for the money. Now, on the door panels, there is quite a bit of dark material, but they actually bring a little bit of that gunmetal gray, sort of like what's on the wheels, right in almost smack dab in the center. The problem that I'm still having is, is the armrest is still on the hard side and the plastic on the back portion of the door is very, very hard. Up top near the door panel is a little softer. Now, when you come to the dash, same dash setup. What is new is not the soft material, not this finish, but now on the Civic Sport hatchback, you're getting the uh, touch screen infotainment setup like you find on the other trim levels. Real easy to use. They do still include that volume knob that so many people had a heart attack about that wasn't there. All obviously push to touch and very simple to go through all the different systems of the car. You have your push button start. I like the way it lights up red. You also have your um, AC controls, very easy to get to. And you could even do it if you don't wanna do knobs, like say you have a knob phobia, you could actually do touch screen, which is really nice. You have that split level. Honda was so smart to do the split level center console where you have the area down here, technically where all your plugs are, your USB and all that, but then you could route the wire and plug your phone in up here. This one is an automatic. It's got the CVT transmission, leather uh, knob. We will be bringing you the manual. So I'm not zonking it because it's nice to have choices, but I would prefer the manual that is to come. You do have an eco button here, which would adjust the settings of the engine and whatnot to give you better fuel economy. Electric e-brake. I like the leather trim with the stitching here, very nice. Here is your same Honda key fob. They do a very classy, tasteful key fob. Buttons on the back, looks, looks good. It's got a nice weight to it. This lifts up. You got plenty of room down here and a sliding cup holder. Plus you have another USB and a spot for a super big gulp. So that's a win-win-win all the way around. Seats, these are new for 2020 in the hatchback. I like the leather on the sides. The cloth is very durable and I like this design. It gives it a little extra personality. They are manual control, but you know what? It is about keeping at that price point, $24,480. Lots of headroom in here. Come on over to the business end. I'll show you behind the wheel of this 2020 Civic. All right, guys, business time behind the wheel. Like I said, manual controls, but it's easy to conform the seat to your body by using the very nice to get to uh, levers and whatnot. Plenty of headroom, steering wheel. I love the steering wheel with the Sport, that nice leather wrap, the thickness is spot on. A Little bit of gloss black. I'm not a fan of these of this buttons here. I, I wish they would use the same switch gear like in the Honda Accord. So I am gonna zonk that. You do have plastic paddles that will go through simulated gears in that CVT. Remember, CVT transmission does not have gears. Dash, same setup. So you have your digital bar display for coolant, 
for fuel. And then in the center, you have the uh, digital uh, display with your tech. You get a nice large speedometer. And then of course you could toggle through a plethora of different information there. As I show you, there's your, your range. You could go into, you want a, a boost gauge. It's just cool to have stuff like that. You get on the throttle, there's the boost gauge building a little bit there. Nice to have some different features, your maintenance uh, indicator, all those types of things. But I, I think it's very smart, the seating position, everything is good here. Why don't we check out that back seat and see what kind of room your passengers have back there. All right, guys, back seat time in the Honda Civic hatchback. The surprising thing about this car is that even though it is a compact car, lots of headroom, even with that sloping roof, seats are comfortable, lots of leather here with the cloth in the center. My only zonk is gonna be there's not a USB or a 12 volt, at least a 12 volt. This is a $24,000 car, not a ton of money, but still at this price point, I would at least like a 12 volt. Also, there's no armrest. So the only way you're gonna be able to rest your arm is on this hard rock armrest on the door. Other than that, nothing in the center, but why don't we go ahead, check out that hatch area and see how usable it is. All right, guys, time to check out that rear hatch area. You push the button. It's not power assist or anything like that. It goes up. The thing that impresses me the most is the amount of space. This has more room than a Focus. This has more room than a Mazda 3. They did one heck of a job designing the back of the Honda Civic hatchback to give you maximum space. Obviously, seats are going to do that nice 60-40 split fairly on the flat side. Here's a little fun fact for you. Because of the um, the, the, the angle of the window, you actually have your um, security shade, one part installed here, the other one you actually drag across like that. That way when you're at the mall and you have some bags in there, nobody's gonna be able to see what is in the back of your hatch. But while we get to the best part, you know, talk about this hatch pack is wonderful. Talk about the little fun little features. Why don't we go ahead, take this for a spin. All right guys, this is it. We're in the 2020 Honda Civic. This is the hatchback sport. It's got some refresh design to it. One thing that's big, that's major, is the updated infotainment system with the touchscreen. That is something separate. You go to a 2019, you don't get that set up. This one has, like I said, the CVT transmission, but you can get a six-speed manual as well. Right now, I do have it in sport mode. And what's interesting, to put it in sport mode, you just take the shifter and go all the way back to S. That's what S means. It doesn't mean slow, it means sport. If you wanna do the eco mode, then you gotta hit the button. I think that's a little weird. I feel like they should've just kept sport as a button, especially because for me, it's a zonk to have two dead buttons next to the actual shifter. But visibility is great looking out the front windshield. Out that back window, you do not see really that separate spoiler that's lower uh, on the hatch. This being the sport, you do have the um, increased thickness of the anti-roll bars, uh, the spring rate, all that good stuff is gonna help with handling and with feedback. Let's go ahead and do a little acceleration test. I'm gonna put it in sport, get a left foot brake on throttle. So it does take quite a bit for that boost to engage. And I think a lot of it really has to do also with it being a CVT transmission. It's like I was sitting there waiting for something to happen and nothing was actually going on. Another acceleration test as we're rolling on throttle. Simulated gears. Very smooth over, up, over this ripped up area of asphalt. And that's the nice thing is that even though this is a compact car, even though this car has an MSRP at $24,000, it is very quiet in here in a good way. There is a little bit of buzz from the engine because of that CVT, uh, CVT transmission having the revs high the whole time as you're building speed. But um, over the bumps, very secure, very planted. And I love the weight of the steering wheel. I feel like Honda does some type of race car magic to where they give great feedback even into their Civic models that are non-SI and non-Type R, which is really wonderful because in the end, that's gonna be better for you from a driving standpoint. I like with the Sport, how you get the um, leather wrap steering wheel right out of the SI. Also, those brushed aluminum pedals are nice to look at. Obviously, you're not gonna feel much of a difference as you're driving, but they do look good when you are driving.
Gotta be careful in the roundabouts. A lot of people in Florida do not know how to properly use a roundabout. See how she handles in some twisty sections here on throttle. Very nice and planted. Watch this little section where we go left, right in the transition here. On the brakes, good feedback. Very nice. Front wheel drive, you feel secure, you feel planted. She's not pushing like you would think. As long as you know what you're doing when driving a front wheel drive car. Obviously, if you try to carry as much speed as you can into a corner, she's gonna push. But uh, quite surprising, very planted as I turned up the wick in that little left-right uh, combination now one thing that I really like is that with the updated or I should say upgraded suspension bits on this it really shows the payback that you're getting by going the sport route with the increased um, the, 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 the overall stiffness of the springs and all that kind of stuff so you could actually feel it when you turn up the wick but the great news is when you're driving normal you don't feel it so that's really really nice another run through the twisty bits on throttle i'm actually going to shift with the paddles right now i'm in simulated second gear on the brakes really good fever even over that bump it soaks it up and we're going very nice you could really see where honda has done their homework with this car really secure really planted it's got a nice balance to it i just wish it had a manual transmission that's what i wish that it had was a manual transmission this little section right here really nice really really nice up now it's interesting because the way that the acceleration is based, you're not getting any torque steer because it's taking a few moments there to get going. There really is no torque steer. And I'll kind of show you that right here on this little straightaway. I got my hands off the steering wheel, on throttle. We're going straight. So it's not gonna overpower those front wheels where you're gonna get a bunch of torque steer. But man, this thing handles really great. And this isn't an SI, it's definitely not a Type R, but it handles great. So that's the really good news about this Honda Civic Sport. But hopefully this gave you a nice overall feel for the new 2020. They changed it up a little bit. They refreshed that front end, the back end, the wheels, and a few other nice features, which is nice. Um, just to kind of bring it into its own before they do a major redesign. Remember, the first year of this car was 2017, 10th generation hatchback style was 2017. So uh, I'm expecting some big things from Honda as we go into the 11th generation. But we're going to go ahead, wrap this one up, and I will see you back at Tampa Honda in a split second. All right, guys, it's been a wonderful time, a pleasant surprise. Christian here at Tampa Honda. So awesome to get us this 2020 Honda Civic hatchback as soon as it came off the lot with the, ch with the changes that they made. It's one of those things that it's a refresh. It's not a major redesign, but I think that Honda has a great lineup when it comes to their Civics to go up against the Toyota Corolla, that main competitor. And then of course, that Mazda 3 with that luxurious interior. But if these are the types of things that you like to see on Radies Rides here at Tampa Honda, leave a comment in that comment section. If you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rise family. If you wanna help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, click the link in the description. It takes you right to Spreadshirt. Get yourself some Radies Rise merch. Gotta give it up to Big Guns McGee. Tom Moshner, he's digging the changes. He's looking forward to see what that new 2020 Type R is gonna be all about. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.